Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I might share with you guys a couple DIY ideas on how to kind of change up the interior of your Jeep on a budget. Um, we always talk about doing the outside of your Jeep with new wheels, tires, lift kit, stickers and all that sort of fun stuff. But where you actually spend most of your time is inside your Jeep and it can be a little bit plain and a lot of people kind of just leave it or they they don't really know what to do. Um, so today I want to share with you, you guys um, a nice DIY thing you can do to kind of just change up the whole look of your interior. For my Jeep, um, I've got the 2007 to 2012 interior, so it's an older JK interior. And I just wanted something to make it look a little bit newer, give it a little bit more class. I know it's not going to be like a JL or anything like that, but you don't have to do white. I've done mine in white. You can do yours in red, blue, whatever. It's kind of endless of what you do. You don't have to do a plain color as well. You can do wraps, you can do um, you can mix mash it, uh, you can do, it's like a dip, um, you can spray like different colours and kind of like press into water, you can get different uh, textures and shades and all that sort of stuff. But what this is, is Plasti Dip. Uh, now fun little story before we get started, uh, I went to go buy this stuff from Repco because they had a 25% sale. Normally I just go to Super Cheap Auto because they've got the cheapest full price, um, the cheapest full price listing um, that anyone has. Um, of Plasti Dip, uh, so but Repco had 25% off, which made it like $10 cheaper than Super Cheap Auto. So me and my son went to Super, uh, went to Repco, sorry, um, and there was nothing on the shelf, so I went to the counter. I said, "Good day, mate. How's it going? You got any more Plasti Dip left in white? There's no more left on the shelf." And he's like, "Nah, just straight no. Didn't even look. Didn't even question it. Nah, that's all we got. All right, all good. Uh, you got anything that does sort of the same thing, but?" Around about the same price? Nah, that's all we got. Then he said, oh no, nah, you can buy it, you can still buy it from Super Cheap Auto. So thanks Jeep Crow, one, you've lost a customer and you've just sent me to your competition down at Super Cheap Auto. So me and my son jumped in the car, went to Super Cheap Auto, I found the stuff in the cabinet, the cabinet was locked so I asked the guy, no worries mate, all good, what are you using it on, can I help you with anything else? No worries at all, friendly as, went to the counter, bought it, um, and the guy said, have a nice day, mate, champion. Off I went. Happy days. Should have just gone straight to cheap, super cheap auto, even though Repco had a bit of a sale. Anyway, so what I'm talking about is, I'm talking about these air vents. On the JK, what they are, they're really just plain. As you can see, I've already done these ones here. Kind of to see what it would look like. I was a bit hesitant of uh, doing it, because I wasn't sure how it turned out, um, how I would actually like the white with the, it's kind of like a, it's not fully black, it's like a dark sort of grey colour. I wasn't sure how the white would look on it, uh, but I think it looks absolutely awesome. Um, so it's a bit bright at the moment, I'll we'll get some darker photos for you guys. Um, but to change these out, it's really simple. Uh, now I'll show you guys, I've already done these as you can see. And they look a little bit colour. Uh, I've done a little bit of shitty drop on this one. A little bit of over, uh, not overspray, but a little bit heavy handed. So with plastic dip, you can always go back um, and pull it off if you don't like it, you don't like the colour, whatever you can do. That's the best part about it, it's not permanent. All it is, is like a removable film that you spray on and you can remove it if you don't like it, you want to replace it with something else, whatever it might be. Uh, so, all JKs have this fe uh, feature. Um, the new ones might be slightly different, I think new ones you can actually do it without taking the air vent out. But all you got to do is remove the air vent, so you got to just turn it, and it pulls out. Then on the back side it are these little clips just here. So I wonder if I can do this with one hand. So that clip pops up there and then you just kind of work your that pops off. So then you've got your air vent um, and then you've got the ring around it. So you don't actually have to mask anything off. If you do want to mask these tabs off you can. I won't, um, so that's pretty much all you have to do to take these out. You got one on both sides. Depending on what you do, I might do half black, half white on this one to see how it looks, kind of matching with the black and white interior. Um, but let me know what you guys are going to do on yours. So let's head back into the garage. We can prep these for paint. I'll show you the place that we'll be using and how much we paid for it. And I'll also leave a link for these down in the description below. Also, let me know what you guys are doing with yours. If you guys are placed up being painting, Hydro dipping, I think it's called. That might be the one. Hydro dipping, place dipping, painting, whatever it might be. Let me know in the comments below uh, how you guys are doing yours. But let's head back into the garage and uh, we can prep these um, and get them painted as well. 
Alright, so now we're back in the garage, ready to paint up our caps on our vents. Don't you roll away, you bloody can. So what we're using is plaster dip. You can buy this in different colours. I bought this from Super Cheap Auto, Was Repco, as you guys heard earlier. This can, can come in multiple colours. A couple of you guys have messaged me on Instagram asking if you can know what where I found these caps. They're not just the caps, they're the factory ones. I am just plastic dipping them. So you can get different colours, red, white, black, blue, orange, green, pink, whatever it might be. You can get different colours of that, which is awesome. It might not be plastic dip. Have a look on eBay, Amazon, stuff like that for different colours. So as we went over in the Jeep, all you do is remove the little tabs off there. It's a little bit hard on your fingers. Pry them up and the cap pops off. Now, I did a few of the caps inside the Jeep uh, a few different ways. One, I prepped it. I prepped it with Bowden Zone Flash Prep. Now that's going to remove all silicones, um, oils, stuff like that from the surface. It's like a alcohol wipe or like a degreaser sort of thing. After we've prepped the surface of the cap, air, aircon ring cap thing. That's what we'll call it. So if you guys haven't painted anything before, we're painting of Plasti Dip, just like any other aerosol can. If you haven't done aerosol can before, super easy and it's so much fun. You can do different shades, different textures. You can do hydro dipping, which we might do later on in different videos. But if you haven't done um, aerosol cans before, all you gotta do, shake it up until you start seeing dip dimples on the bottom side of the can. That way you know it's nice and well shaken up. So there's, a lot of people will just put them on should have been a shitty bit of cardboard like I've done because I was just lazy. But one of the best things you can do is I've seen a lot of painters actually hang the equipment up. I feel like I've done this in the past and I feel like you get a better spray or you can get an, a better overall spray. I think it's also easier to dry as well. Dust also settles, so the lower the surfaces, the more dust is going to get on it. I think. So, anyway, all I'm using is the washing line. Make sure it's all free of your wife's. Uh, washing and your boxes before you start spraying. So all I'm doing is connecting it with cable tie over the loop um, through those little loops just there. Cable tie there. Pretty much good to go. Um, well, I actually faced that one away from the sun so you can't really see it. So what I'll do is I'll face this one this way so you can actually see it a bit better. So all I'm doing, cable ties are what? Five dollars from Super Cheap Auto. Again, loop it through that hole as I said. That way you get a nice consistency. So let's um, cable tie that, chuck it up there, and let's get the spraying and see how this one looks. Just on that one, um, and you can't really see because I've put it the opposite way. Anyway, cable tie that, put it up on the washing line. If you don't have a washing line, uh, what you can do is just get uh, string rope if you can run it from like a rafter. Just so you can, so you can hang it down. Um, I just feel like this is the best way. You get a better cons consistency um, with your spray. You're not bending down as well, bending over doing all, all this sort of crap so if you don't have a washing line just a piece of string rope string whatever it might be just so you can hang something from the TV line they don't use the um, electrical cables outside that's dangerous so anything just to hang it from the ceiling will do um, you don't have to use washing line like I have just whatever whatever will work you can steal something from your neighbors steal something from the dump go through people's rubbish bins if you want whatever works Alright, so we've got it connected with the cap tie on the washing line. I've just left it loose in case we want to move it up or down. You can move it to different positions where you want, out of the sun, into the sun, whatever floats your boat really. So as I said, what we've got to do is shake the can up until you can see the dimples on the bottom. Shake it. Like you're shaking a martini or whatever, or an aerosol can, whatever floats your boat, whatever works for you, I guess. So we've got the surface all prepped, we've got to hang out, we've got our can or ship it. We've done a couple of coats on our other one, and all we want to be doing is light coats. Looking nice and white. Let's see the before and after of just one coat. You can spray that inside if you want. Kind of depends on your preference. As I said before, it can be peeled off to do any colour you want. So, uh, we'll just let that sit for a little bit and we'll do another coat. But that's already looking pretty damn good. 
Now as I said you can mix it up, you can do half black, half white, you can do blue, green, orange, magentas, whatever other colours, mould, green mould of green, green mould. Whatever you guys want to do, you can do it. You can do any sort of colour you want. You don't have to do white, you don't have to do black. Pretty boring white and black. Maybe I should do another colour. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing with yours. If this video is helping you before we finish off, let me know. Um, I love to help you guys out. Do different things on your Jeep that are cheap. What did I say? Oh, price on this. So, uh, as I said, Repco had 25% off, which would have been $60... No. $58 for two cans with a 25% discount on both cans. They didn't have any in stock, so they sent me to Super Cheap Auto, where I had to pay full price, but still cheaper than Repco full price. So, full price, $62 for two cans. It is a little bit more expensive than paint, but the idea behind it is that it can be easy peeled off in any scenario, and you can just recoat it if you don't like it, or you stuff it up, which is a great learning process for people that uh, don't know how to paint with aerosol cans. If you stuff it up, just peel it off, repaint it. If you don't like the colour, peel it off, repaint it. So it is a bit more expensive than uh, traditional paints and stuff like that. Um, but you can peel it off and change it if you want, which is awesome. So I will leave that link down to Super Cheap Auto, not Ripco, because they don't have it apparently. I'll leave a link down below to Super Cheap Auto if you guys want to pick this up. Um, but have a look at eBay, Amazon if you guys live in America um, or other countries. But if you are in Australia, check out Super Cheap Auto. Great stuff there, they're always, they're always very friendly in there which is awesome to see um, and really helpful as well. So we'll just let that drive a little bit and we'll come back and do a second coat, lay it on nice and thick. I think the thicker it is, the easier to peel it off, I believe so. We will test that theory um, and we'll see how we go. We'll let that dry for a little bit, do a second coat, um, see how that looks. Alright, so my camera battery kind of died then, I kind of got gastro for a couple of days. So this is actually a couple of days later, um, I did the last final coats. As you can see, it turned out pretty damn good. If you can focus on it. So pretty simple process, I probably did three coats in total, just nice light coats. You just went over it, you can't really see any um, orange peel, stuff like that. Looks pretty damn good. I mm mean, -hmm. no professional paint or anything like that, but come on. That looks pretty damn good. So we'll just cut that tab um, and we'll just put it back on the event. We can put them back in the car and then we can see what they look like.